Howdy folks, welcome to the Comptia IT Fundamentals course, or should I say, the Comptia ITF Plus course. Now folks, this first video is just the course introduction and overview, but the videos following this one will contain the actual course we're training. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you've been around for a while, well, hello again. All right, let's first start by telling you about the trainer of this course, me, of course. <laughs> first of all, folks, I am a certified IT trainer and instructor or whatever you want to go and call it. I train IT professionally for a living for colleges, universities, schools, and so on. And in case you're wondering, I am indeed certified in the ITF Plus myself as well as most of the other CompTIA certifications, not to mention all the ones I've got from other vendors. I have over 15 years of IT training experience, probably actually more close to 20 years by now, come to think of it. I have years of first-hand experience in the industry, which I normally incorporate into the trainings to give folks a more real-world-like kind of experience, which really helps with the learning progress. And then, folks, as for the actual course overview itself, along with the objectives, this video course, in case you're not sure yet, is based on the CompTIA IT Fundamentals Plus. It is for the version FC0-U61. Now that would be the version of the course, folks. For those of you new to the CompTIA courses, CompTIA releases a newer version of each of their courses roughly every three and a half years. This course I'm delivering is currently based on the latest version but that won't always be the case, though, since, well, they release a new version every three and a half years. The good news here, however, is the content in this video, which is now currently the latest content, the content in this video will still mostly be relevant if a newer version of the course comes out. So the content will always be about 90, 95% relevant. So at the end of the day, one plus one will always equal two. When CompTIA releases a newer version of the course, they simply go and remove here or there a couple of old things. Here or there, they'll add a couple of new things. But basically, the course still remains about 90% the same, even if they change the name of it. Now, folks, I will be covering the full course, which consists of six modules in total. Doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, it's a lot. There will be a dedicated video for each of these six modules, which will cover everything in that specific module. It's worth noting, though, that these videos will, however, be quite long. I mean, they are covering everything. At the very least, they will be about one to two hours long each, since each one does cover a whole freaking module, after all. So it only makes sense that they're going to be long. I did say I will be covering everything now, didn't I? On that note, this video course will cover enough for someone to be able to write the official exam and actually pass it. So if your goal is to go and sit and write the exam, then yes, this course will be enough. This video course is also for people who just want to maybe brush up on a couple of things in IT. Maybe you've forgotten a few things or you just want to learn one or two things specifically. This course can also be used to troubleshoot a technical problem, if that's maybe what you're facing. Now, folks, because these videos are so long and because so much content is being covered, I will be adding timestamps to the video descriptions for your convenience. How this works is, in the video description of each of these videos, you will find a fairly accurate list of most of the topics being covered in that module. And next to each of those topics, you'll find timestamps. And you'll be able to click on that timestamp, and it's going to take you straight to that topic in the video. How convenient is that? This will really speed things up for you if you want to learn something specific, looking for something specific, or you just want to refresh on something specific. Either way, it's going to really make your life a lot easier. Trust me, it took me forever to put those timestamps in. So please, by all means, make use of them. Lastly, folks, once I've covered all six of those modules of the course, I will do a few dedicated videos, which is going to be in the same playlist. And those dedicated videos will have practice questions. This is to help you prepare even further for the exam. So maybe keep an eye out for those as well. So besides this intro video, there's going to be six module videos. And that's going to be followed by a couple of exam practice question videos to help you prepare for the exam. And in those exam practice question videos, I will be explaining each question, what the question actually asks of you. And then with the answer choices, I'll be going through each possible answer where I'll explain each possible answer, why it's correct or why it's not correct. 
which is perfect for learning. Alrighty folks, that is the course overview. If you haven't done it already, do your homie here a favor and give this video a like. That way we can get this free study material in front of more people who can't afford to pay for study material because YouTube's can then be pushing it out to more folks. And if you'd like to know when the first module comes out or any of the modules or any of the videos, quite frankly, maybe consider subscribing and then at least YouTube will inform you when these videos goes live. Alright folks, let's go learn something.